Okay, we need to have a serious conversation about Einstein activity capture, which theoretically is a great solution provided by Salesforce to make it really easy to log your meetings and emails from your Google Workspace, from your Outlook, from your Microsoft 365 account to Salesforce and log it to the right record without doing anything that just works in the background. But there are a lot of downsides to using Einstein. And in this video, I wanna walk you through the top reasons why I'm pretty sure you will regret using Einstein in your Salesforce CRM to log activities. And the reason for this video is really activity logging is so important. If you don't know what activities you got going with a deal, do you even know if the deal is real? Do you know when the last meeting happened? Do you know what was talked about in the last email? Do you have a recording available for that? You need to have these things available in your CRM. Otherwise, managers will not be able to inspect deals. You will not be able to forecast properly and you will not understand what the deal velocity really is. Activities are not optional. You need to log activities. If you do not do that, why do you even have a Salesforce CRM in the first place? And here's the thing. I want you to make an informed decision. Obviously, I'm biased. I, I run a company called WeFlow. I'm one of the co-founders. Uh, we build a very extensive activity logging solution, pipeline management, forecasting, all these things. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt. But everything I'll tell you in this video actually is not like, you know, something that I invented. You just need to search for it on Google and you'll find that all of the things that I tell you about in this video are true. They're real. Even though I have a bias and I don't want to hide that, everything I say in this video is 100% accurate. Okay, so let's get started with the first and I think actually most important point. And that is you don't own the data. Salesforce does. And that's a big problem because everything else you have in your Salesforce CRM, you own. Like that's, that's an actual bit and byte stored in the Salesforce database that you have access to and that will not automatically be removed. But if you use Einstein activity capture and you stop using it at some point, all of those activities that you logged over the years, they'll be gone. And that's a big problem. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because in truth, that data, those activities, they are not stored in your Salesforce CRM. They are stored in an Amazon, AWS, S3 bucket, somewhere else, and it's just mirrored into your Salesforce account. So anything you want to report on, you actually cannot even report on it because the data is not in your CRM. You need to use specific Einstein activity dashboards that Salesforce developed for you in order to report on those activities. Yeah, if you go to a detail page in Salesforce and you look at a specific opportunity, you can look at the individual emails, but that's a lot of work. That takes a lot of time. That's a lot of taps you need to open. That's a lot of clicking. So what you actually want to do is you want to look at that data in a type of report, but you can't. You can only use the one that Salesforce creates by default. And I think that's really a big missed chance. Salesforce makes it really easy to start using Einstein, but then if you want to use these advanced features, then you need to actually upgrade your account. You need to pay for it. And that's not cheap. Be aware that when you use Einstein activity capture, you don't own the data around these activities and they'll disappear once you stop using Einstein. Another big problem with Einstein is that once you start using Einstein, you actually cannot use the Chrome extension in combination in order to manually log meetings and emails. And that's a big problem because sometimes just as good as Einstein is or any other solution with automatically picking the right record, sometimes it's wrong. Let's say you have a parent account with 10 different opportunities. It's a big company like you're selling to Microsoft or Google. Obviously, you have multiple opportunities with these big companies. So let's say three different opportunities are open at the same time and there might be overlapping contacts. Einstein will not be able to pick the right contact. They will not be able to pick the right opportunity. And that's a big problem. So you want to have that specific ability to log an email or a meeting to a very specific record, a record of your choice. And you can only do that by using additional like tools like a Chrome extension like WeFlow offers to basically say, hey, you know what? Don't log it to that record, log it to that other one that I want to, wanted to log to. That's a big problem and I think it's a missed chance. I think they should have built this in a way where you can actually combine it with their Chrome extension. It's not so bad, their Chrome extension, they, but they should have made it work with Einstein but they didn't. 
So that's quite unfortunate. And I think it's a big problem that you should be aware of. Let's say your company is in business for a couple of years already and you're finally getting started with logging activities. Now you're thinking about Einstein and you want to understand how long can I sync back all these activities. Now, here's the thing. You can't do that with Einstein. The maximum time of sync back you have there is 180 days. So if you're an enterprise business, if you're a mid-tier business, if you have a longer sales cycle, you want to have these older emails and meetings also in your Salesforce CRM. Especially if you're just starting out with activity logging, you want to be able to get a lot of historic data into your CRM so you can quickly understand what those activities that you're now capturing actually mean in terms of deal velocity and in terms of value for pipeline inspection. So you can improve your forecasting and generally just improve your sales process and better coach your reps. Just be aware with Einstein, you can only look back 180 days maximum. And in my opinion, that's a big limitation. Now this point has nothing really to do with Einstein. It's more like a general Salesforce thing but I think it's fair to bring it up. In my experience, and I think I'm not alone, Einstein and Salesforce in general, they do not have the best support. Yeah, they can solve issues, but the time it takes to solve these issues is usually pretty long. It's pretty unpersonal. There's not really anyone you can properly talk to. So you are stuck with that expensive license and you're at the mercy of this sort of like anonymous support team that hopefully will take care of the problems that you're facing. And I find that frustrating. I don't like that. Salesforce really needs to invest more into how they support their customers. So yeah, just be aware. If you run into any technical issues, good luck with the Salesforce support. If you are looking for a better alternative to Einstein Activity Capture, go to Google, type in Einstein Activity Capture Alternative. You'll find WeFlow at the top. Go check it out. Your future self will thank you.